while Bea burned, King Henry pressed his advantage. Seizing key fortifications and buying the loyalty of powerful lords, Henry loosened his brother's grip over Normandy. At Tinchebrae in 1106, brother would fight brother for final claim to their father's lands. Determined to claim Normandy and capture his brother, Duke Robert, King Henry besieged the castle at Tinchebrae. But the direct assault on the formidable stone castle was failing. Unable to breach the towering walls, the king devised a new plan to capture his brother. Henry would force Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages of Martigny and Fen. Get to the ready for surface. Who readeth new to us? To goad Robert out of his stronghold, Henry's men would burn the village to the ground. The village of Martigny was destroyed, but still Robert did not emerge to face Henry outside the castle. Henry would have to raise the stakes. Next, he targeted the village of Fren. Henry received word that Robert had sent for a fresh army to aid in defending his position at the castle. Henry had to eliminate these new forces before they could combine with the garrison at Tinchebrae. Henry could buy reinforcements from nearby allies if he could procure the gold to pay them. Henry sent gold to his ally in men and received fresh reinforcements. 
It is Sith the new Tulkes. Leo the Hell. It's living to hear He shall lay the yard. Adente to serve. Who's there to serve? By eliminating Robert's incoming army, Henry had thwarted his brother's attempt at strengthening the castle's defences. Ga, ga up! It will read on. 
Henry paid his ally in Tosny and received a regiment of soldiers. At the hands of Henry's army, the village of Fren was in ruins. Henry's provocations had paid off. Robert finally emerged from the castle to face his brother in open battle.
King Henry's tactic of luring Robert into the open had worked. Henry captured his brother and Normandy was his.